right, well, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Tracy Ann Samuel. I am the Director of Residence Experience here at Heritage Village. I'm joined with Connie Adamski. <laughs> Connie is the President of the Activities Committee for you at Heritage Village. And we are pleased to present to you this time around the first ever Heritage Village Make Music Day. What is Make Music Day, you may ask? Make Music Day was an event or an initiative that started 40 years ago in France. The goal behind it, or the idea um, behind this initiative, was that on summer solstice, everyone will be filled and surrounded with the joys of music. Absolutely free access. So we're hoping that on this Wednesday, June 21st, that you, your family, will come on out and make this an event to remember. We have loads of fun, musical performances lined up in various areas of our campus that we want to take a few moments to talk to you about today. So um, prior to the event, you will receive a schedule which will break down the various performances at each of their locations. So for example, over at the Meeting House, we're going to have quite a few performers lined up. In starting off with a bagpipe performance with our own Owen McDonald. What a way to start the day, right? Bagpipe live and outdoors. It's a way to get the day started, energize the soul. Then we have a special educational musical presentation by the Mohegan tribe members. They are going to talk to us about their tribal history through music. A uh, dance demonstration as well as the historical significance of the dances, as well as a flute demonstration. And we are so thrilled that they're going to be joining us for that. Additionally, we have a guitarist performance um, followed by the Mattatuck Fife and Drum Band. Now that's going to be a big one. That's going to be how we close out the event. However, in between the start of Owen McDonald's performance, and the finale performance of the Mattatuck Fife and Drum Band, we're going to have a series of performances for you throughout the campus. So you want to check the schedule to see what's going on inside Sarica Call as well as outside of Sarica Call. There's going to be the Rockin' Roosters. The Rockin' Roosters are a square dance group. It's going to be an interactive opportunity, and they're going to be just outside of Sarica Call by pool one, that little square asphalt area. So have your dancing shoes on and join them for that. That's gonna be a really great experience. Additionally, our very own Nolan Cummings over from the activities desk. Everyone knows Nolan. You go to him for your wristbands, you go to him to sign up for your events. You don't wanna miss out on this because you're gonna see Nolan and his friends, fellow cast members from the Landmark Community Theater, um, doing songs from Beauty and the Beast, along with the uh, Music Man, you don't want to miss it. So that's going to be in Sarah Cook Hall. Then, now this is a free event, um, however, Waterbury Symphony has done us a phenomenal favor. They are sponsoring a pianist performance, you all may know this name, um, Joe Giacovino. He is going to be in our very own Sarah Cook Hall between the hours of 2.30 and 3.30 playing our grand piano. Now at that event, which is only at this event, there'll be an opportunity for you to make a donation to the Waterbury Symphony. I encourage you all to take a moment and make, make a donation to make this event worthwhile. Um, additionally, there's going to be a lineup of performances from start to finish, 11 o'clock to 345 over at the Pool 4 Pavilion. Your friend and neighbor, Bruce Martin, has put together a phenomenal lineup. There's Open Mic, there's the Zacks Band, there is the uh, 60s folk song Hoot Nanny. <laughs> Have you been to a Hoot Nanny lately? <laughs> you don't want to miss this. Then there's Power of Three. There's going to be doing a musical performance, and that's how we're going to wrap up the pavilion performances. Then over by the activities building, we have those lovely tennis courts up top, but there's this beautiful grassy area, flat surface. We are going to have an acoustic guitar performance for the Beatles lovers. I know we have a few. Do you love the Beatles? I love the Beatles. We all love the Beatles. So you want to come on out for that performance. The, the person who is performing, he calls himself guitarist Bard. 
Um, his name is Michael Carrington, and he's a local attorney in the area that's going to be performing for our pleasure. Um, then on the lodge patio, oh my goodness, we have a lineup of resident performers that are really going to put on a show for us. From 1130, we have t &E Jazz. Everyone loves jazz. Thanks to Tom Culhane and Ernie Puglisi, you don't want to miss this. Then we have 70s acoustic guitar from 1 to 2 p.m. with Terry Johannesson. Also, we have Ramasax Quartet. Alex Thompson, Mike Ingber, Ron Falhan, and Rusty Rockman. They are going to jam us out at the lodge. Then, in case you get hungry, we are going to have the famous Crepe Royale food truck. Now, this is an homage to Make Music Day, which started originally in France. This is French cuisine at its finest. We're going to have crepes and beverages throughout the event, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Bring your cash, bring your credit card. He accepts it all, and we want to make sure you have a great time. Now, on to some frequently asked questions. <laughs> cost. Is there a cost to this event? Is there a cost, Connie? It is free, completely free. Free! So you want to make sure that you are there for all of your favorite performances. Yes, you will have to make a choice because there are events happening simultaneously. So please come on out and support. Um, getting around, parking is always a situation, isn't it? Yeah. Especially with an event like this. Please note that all of our roadways will be open. Be careful as you cross the street. We are going to offer shuttle service for free to all, our, all of our Heritage Village residents. So please make sure you are wearing your teal wristband. If you don't have a teal wristband, stop by the activities building See Nolan, get your teal wristband. This way, our drivers can take you from one location to the next location, and you can plan out a great afternoon with multiple performances. Um, additionally, accessibility. This event is going to be outdoors. Now, we're not doing any registrations, so it may in fact be that when you come to an event, all of our seating is taken. We encourage those who can to bring a picnic blanket, bring a folding chair, if you can, to ensure that you have seating no matter where you go. If you can't, that's okay as well. We will have seating available for you. It's just that we can't guarantee what's going to be more popular than the next, okay? For those of you who are not coming to the event, boo-hoo, um, you may want to know about accessing just the HV amenities. Maybe you might say, hey, this event's not for me, but I'm still interested in going to the pools. I'm still interested in going to the fitness center. Please note all of those amenities will remain open. Now I'm asking for the Heritage Village residents to support us. It's going to be a partnership with the community to ensure this event is fully successful. We want to make sure that your guests are kept in the loop regarding the HV policies and procedures. The HV, your HV guests are welcome to join you at any one of these performances. However, for our amenities, please be sure that you are adhering to the HV rules. So we don't want our guests to go out on our tennis courts. We don't want our guests to go out into the fitness center. We want them to stay to the areas where the performances are. And it's going to be up to you to ensure that they are aware. So help us keep HV safe in that way. Parking. Please make sure that you are adhering to all of our parking rules and guidelines. Do not block intersections. Do not take up a handicapped spot if you are not handicapped in need, pardon me. So we want to make sure that this event is accessible and fun for all. And your participation would be required for that as well. Communication. How are you going to hear about any additions or cancellations to this event lineup? Well, that will all be posted on Carousel. Please tune in to channel 900, which is Carousel, where we'll have slides going for the day. Additionally, we're going to make sure that we have informational packets for you. They'll be printed in black and white. They'll be available over at the activities building as well as the management building. It will include uh, events, locations, schedule, maps, as well as an informational sheet that will answer any of your questions to make this event successful. So please mark your calendars for June 21st 
11 a.m. to 4 p.m. wear your comfortable shoes. If you can, bring a picnic blanket, bring a folding chair. Just come on out and have some fun with us.